Okay, here is a no nonsense guide to host your code on RunPod serverless GPUs. So when we say serverless in the sense that it is activated whenever you need it. So we have the code here. You can pull this code. You can fork it and download this code, upload it to GitHub. And then we are going to go ahead and get started with RunPod. So first of all, I'm going to go to Visual Studio Code Editor here. You can go ahead and clone this repo. So I can say uh, get clone. This is my repo. So this is cloning into test serverless. I'm going to change the folder CD and you can see the files here. So first and foremost, we have this requirements.txt file. We have three requirements. This is torch, transformer and run pods. Then we have the main file sentiment analysis.py Python file. What it does is that first we go ahead and import the transformers and run pod and then we define this function. The target of this function is to import this model or and then we have another function which will extract that sentiment of the sentence that you put forward. And then we need to say runpod.serverless.start. Handler is the function here sentiment analysis handler so this is a simple function that you can use to get started you can create more complex examples for example background removal image generation text to image generation and so many other things next we have this docker file here so we load an official python uh, runtime then we create this working directory and then we copy all the contents uh, to the working directory which is app and then we run the requirements.txt file and in there we have three a number of requirements and we install all of these we expose this 800 report and we do the python sentiment analysis.py so this is the docker file and then we have a test example as well so we need to put this test example whenever we want to test uh, the function that we are going to make or test the code here uh, right now what you can do is you can go ahead and test for example and that is one thing that you can do so i can say uh, python sentiment analysis.py so it's going to download the model process your text here and give it the output but better what we can do now is we can go directly to run pods and set up our serverless function here that's pretty cool you need to go to run pods and sign up for an account now if you go to get.runpod.io slash pe48 that is my affiliate link you're gonna go to this location and you can get a referral bonus anything between five to five hundred dollars when you recharge your pod for the first time with ten dollars can claim this bonus and create an account now once you create an account and you recharged it what you can do is that so if you go to this pods uh you can see that we have different pods that you can use but i'm not going to use this we're going to use the serverless functionality here so what you can do is you can go ahead and click on new endpoints and what you can do as you can see here you can link your github account so once you link your github all your reports will be available here what I can do is that I can take this repo example which is this example test serverless v2 and then we need to put the docker file now since the docker file is outside so it will be able to access the docker file here that's pretty simple you don't need to write anything and then you can leave this as blank you can go to next and then you can choose the number of GPUs that you want to use so let's say I decide to use three number of GPUs and I can just say deploy endpoint so you can see that once you have this ready it is running and you can see that we can change this endpoint here as well and change the number of active workers to one if you don't give it one it will cold start and that could take some amount of time but again if you keep at least one worker running that would incur a cost that you have to bear but have a look at this this is the endpoint this is the github repository here and you can go ahead and see the workers here now this worker is running we have other workers lined up and they can actually scale if there is a demand now if you go to this request tab you can see that this is the endpoints that you can uh, put your request so for example this is the endpoint you can go to any service like postman you can select post and put this endpoint here you can put the headers as content type application json and authorization as bearer and the api keys of run pod so in order to get the api keys you need to go to settings here and you can go to api keys here create a new api key and copy this api key and put it here okay in the body part we need to put this in this format so input is text i love using run pods for serverless machine learning functions and if i send this this is going to spin up the service that i have here this is going to spin up one of the gpus that i have well the first one for now so you can see that this worker will run and will give me the reply so you can see that i love using run pods and the output as you can see that we get this positive sentiment here and if you say i don't love using run pods and send this you can see a negative sentiment here so 
So you can see this is a pretty good example of how you can keep the serverless function running. And whenever there is a demand, you can, it can start up. Whenever there's an increase in demand, it can auto scale your services. So this is a pretty fast guide for setting up the serverless GPUs. You can use my link. So see you in another one. Have a nice day.